Yorktown bristles with armaments. Torpedo tubes, five-inch guns and missile launchers, and the Phalanx Gatling guns to stop cruise missiles. It's powered by four jet engines, gas turbines, which can take it to 30 knots and more in about a minute. But what makes this ship and the Ticonderoga different from anything on the seas is the Aegis system. It's a new radar tied to computers and the weapons. The control room looks like the Starship Enterprise. But these expensive ships have drawn criticism that they're top-heavy and unmaneuverable and that the Aegis system doesn't live up to its advanced billing. The Yorktown's captain says the charges just don't hold water. If anybody would think that I would turn around and take command and want to go to sea on a ship that I thought was unsuitable or not able to go into harm's way, they're kidding themselves. You don't pay me to do that. It was a wet greeting that Yorktown the city provided Yorktown the ship. Squalls and storms marked their progress up the York River. But for one passenger on the trip, it was a very special day. Mary Matthews of Yorktown is the ship's sponsor. In 1983, her husband Nick died en route with her to the launching ceremony in Mississippi. Today, she was bringing the ship she christened in the memory of her husband to the city that gave it a name. I feel proud. I feel happy, I feel honored, and I feel I'm so big I reach the sky from my happiness. As the ship tied up, sailors and loved ones tried to dodge raindrops. But as one chief told me, the rain isn't dampening our spirits. Aboard the cruiser Yorktown, I'm Terry Zahn, The Daily News.